fire. Y'all, so listen, we back to check out some more of the world's craziest mysteries, right? This is 20 world mysteries no one can explain. Let's check them out. The world is filled with mysteries, but some are so confounding that even the most brilliant minds can't find answers to them. From Area 51 to the greatest case of disappearance in the world, here are 20 world mysteries no one can explain. Number 20. Area 51. Let's start with a classic example, Area 51. Most people know this place is shrouded in mystery and how it's often tied with extraterrestrial creatures. However, what's really happening in this place? All we know is that this facility is located in the Nevada desert, and officially, it's a U.S. Air Force facility. But what's the real story behind these heavily guarded fences? First off, let's get the facts straight. Area 51 is indeed a top-secret military site. Originally, it was a playground for the CIA, used for developing spy planes like the U-2 and keeping an eye on our Cold War rivals. Now, the U.S. Air Force is taking care of this place, continuing to innovate in the area secretly. Ultimately, one of the reasons why Area 51 garnered the public's attention was because the initiative behind this facility wasn't acknowledged by the government until 2013 after the declassification of CIA documents. These documents revealed the true purpose of Area 51. To develop- and That's when I think they stopped using Area 51 facility. I mean, they probably still use it, but not for all the top secret things that we think that was housed there at one point in time. I think they have a new spot. When Area 51 became known, I think that it was over for the top secret classified stuff that we would think, or the alien stuff that we would think is inside there is there anymore. I think it's all gone. Develop and test aerial surveillance programs like the U-2 and A-12 Oxcart. The intense secrecy around the facility was primarily to protect these technologies from Soviet espionage not to conceal extraterrestrial activities, as popularly speculated. Or at least, that's what's officially listed. Conspiracies of Area 51 further developed and spread back in 1989 when Bob Lazar claimed to have worked on reverse-engineering alien spacecraft at the site. While these claims have captivated the public imagination, they remain unsubstantiated and are viewed skeptically by experts. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. The Secret of the Bermuda Triangle When discussing maritime and aircraft conspiracies, the Bermuda Triangle is always bound to come up. This triangular area, spanning from Florida to Bermuda to Puerto Rico and back, is like a puzzle waiting to be solved. It's a place where the known laws of physics and explanations seem to twist and turn as mysteriously as the tales that emerge from it. The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is a location that often conjures images of vanished ships and airplanes, disappearing without a trace in calm seas and clear skies. But what really happens in this patch of the ocean? Well, you see, we aren't quite sure. The disappearances and odd occurrences here are often attributed to the paranormal, but perhaps there is a more rational explanation. While it's shrouded in mystery, the Triangle is actually a bustling maritime highway. After all, it's a path crossed by countless ships and planes. For this reason, the disappearances here range from small private boats to large military vessels, from commercial airplanes to private aircraft. Some believe the Triangle holds unique environmental hazards, where the Earth's magnetic field is tricky, causing compasses and other navigational tools to malfunction, sending even the most seasoned sailors down to the ocean's depths. However, Many believe that there's something supernatural and paranormal happening in this region. Regardless, this region of the ocean is among the most mysterious. Number 18. My theory on that, I have a few theories. One, it could be paranormal, extraterrestrial, something over there that's going on. Maybe a portal to another dimension or something like that. Number two, um, it might not be three, I might just have two. I have to think about the third one. But number two, I think we could have a black hole here on this planet and it's there in the Bermuda Triangle. We just can't see it. Some kind of way there's a black hole there. I don't know. And the third one I could say possibly an underwater volcano or something that's causing it, causing these planes to disappear or something. I don't know. I don't know. Like I think I got a few more theories, but those are those are the ones I'm holding on to and sticking with right now. The identity of Jack the Ripper. 
Uncovering Jack the Ripper's true identity remains one of humanity's most persistent puzzles, and despite thorough research, confirmation has escaped us. It's quite impossible that you've never heard about Jack the Ripper, but just in case, let's look back in history. In the autumn of 1888, London was gripped by fear and fascination as a series of unspeakable crimes unfolded in the East End. The perpetrator was known only by the chilling moniker Jack the Ripper. As his crimes increased, he became more and more infamous for the mystery surrounding his identity. Despite numerous investigations, both in that era and since, the true identity of the Ripper has never been conclusively established. So what do we know? The theories are quite valid, and as I've said, nothing has been confirmed. Some have pointed to evidence suggesting the Ripper might have had anatomical or surgical knowledge, leading to speculation that he could have been a doctor or a butcher. Others have proposed more outlandish theories involving famous figures of the day, or even suggesting a royal conspiracy. The list of suspects is long and diverse, ranging from plausible to downright bizarre. There's the case of Montague John Druitt, a barrister with a troubled mind whose death coincided with the end of the killings. Then there's Aaron Kosminski, a Polish barber, who was admitted to an asylum. Some have even suggested the artist Walter Sickert, a theory largely dismissed by experts. Forensic analysis, DNA testing, and criminal profiling have all been applied in attempts to solve this enduring mystery. And yet, it seems like the veil hiding Jack the Ripper's identity would never be removed. In the end, the identity of Jack the Ripper remains one of the greatest mysteries in criminal history. Number 17. The Collapse of the Mayan Civilization Just like the Egyptian civilization, the Maya were among the greatest. Known for their astronomical knowledge, impressive architecture, and complex hieroglyphic script, the Maya were one of the most dominant indigenous societies of Mesoamerica. But then, seemingly at the height of their cultural and architectural prowess, their civilization experienced a dramatic and mysterious collapse. What happened to the Maya? Flourishing for thousands of years, the Maya built magnificent cities like Tikal, Copan, and Chichen Itza, they were skilled astronomers, mathematicians, and builders, leaving behind an impressive legacy of temples, pyramids, and... So how could a civilization so skilled, very well skilled, just disappear like that without a trace? Like, that don't bother y'all? That bothers me for some reason. Maybe I'm too vested into this, but... That bothers me, like, why, how, how? If something like that happens today to, to a group of people that we say are elite when it comes to whatever capabilities they have, whether it be technology, whether it be, you know what I mean? What if something happens to them and they just, go, they just vanish like that? We'd have all kind of different theories or different things or we, we, it, we, we wouldn't rest. Why have we not figured this out yet? I think this is very important. ...and palaces. But then, around the 8th and 9th centuries AD, something went wrong. Many of their great cities were abandoned, left to be reclaimed by the jungle. But how and why? Exactly. This question has puzzled archaeologists and historians for years. One leading theory suggests that severe droughts could have played a critical role. After all, there have been pieces of evidence from lake sediments and other environmental data indicating that the region experienced intense periods of drought at the time of the Maya collapse. Others, however, point to internal strife and warfare as contributing factors. As city-states competed for resources and power, the region may have become destabilized, leading to the breakdown of the intricate political and social structures that held the Maya civilization together. Some researchers propose a more complex scenario where a combination of environmental stress, overpopulation, warfare, and shifting trade routes conspired to bring about the civilization's decline. Despite the theories, the Maya people themselves did not disappear. But what exactly drove this great civilization to ruin? It's one of the most enduring mysteries in the history of mankind. Number 16. The Lost Tomb of Cleopatra Cleopatra VII, the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, renowned for her intelligence, charisma, and political acumen, has been a figure of fascination and legend for over two millennia. Had her final resting place been discovered along with the young king Tutankhamun, it would have been among the greatest discoveries. And yet, it seems like it'll forever remain elusive. 
Queen Cleopatra was a great ruler, as well as a strategist, a linguist, and a cultured diplomat who navigated her kingdom through turbulent political waters. Her liaisons with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, two of Rome's most powerful leaders, were as much about romance as they were about political alliance. Under her reign, Egypt flourished culturally and economically, yet her death marked the end of the Egyptian pharaohs and the beginning of Roman rule. Despite her historical significance, the whereabouts of her final resting place have been lost to history. This mystery has puzzled archaeologists and historians for centuries, sparking numerous theories and expeditions. One prevailing theory suggests that Cleopatra and her lover, Mark Antony, were buried together. Their tomb, according to this theory, might be located in or near Alexandria, Cleopatra's royal seat. This ancient city, now buried under modern developments, was subjected to earthquakes and tsunamis over the mm. centuries complicating the search. Another intriguing possibility is the Temple of Taposiris Magna, located west of Alexandria. This site has been the focus of recent excavations and has yielded several artifacts dating back to the Ptolemaic era. Some believe that- I never even thought about that though. Earthquakes happening and different things continuing to happen could make the history that we're searching for that much more difficult to find, if not ever finding it now. So the more time goes on, man. Some of the stuff that we're searching for in history that we may never find due to things happening like earthquakes. That this temple, dedicated to the god Osiris, could be the symbolic resting place of Cleopatra, who often identified herself with the goddess Isis. As the sands of time continue to shift, the final resting place of the queen remains hidden beneath the Egyptian desert. Or is it even in Egypt at all? Number 15. City of Atlantis. First mentioned by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato around 360 BC, Atlantis has captivated scholars, dreamers, and conspiracy theorists for centuries. According to Plato, Atlantis was a powerful, advanced kingdom that sank into the ocean in a single day and night of misfortune. He described it as an island larger than Libya and Asia combined, located beyond the Pillars of Hercules, now known as the Strait of Gibraltar. But was Atlantis real or merely a mythic tale? The truth behind this mythical place has been debated for over a millennia. Plato's account, written in his dialogues Timaeus and Critias, was the only known source of information about this mysterious civilization. He portrayed Atlantis as a utopian society with an advanced culture and technology, but also as a moral lesson on the hubris of nations. One of the most intriguing theories about this mythical place suggests it was in the Bermuda Triangle. After all, it makes sense for the city to lie beneath treacherous waters, if it was sent to its downfall, what better way than to let it succumb beneath the waves in the most mysterious regions on Earth? Another theory, however, points to the Antarctic. Far-fetched, but many believe this region might be keeping the secret of this lost city. Some believe that the icy continent was once the location of Atlantis, and that the city's remains are hidden beneath layers of ice. Yeah, but the eye of the Sahara just looks exactly like all the depictions beforehand of, of Atlantis. To me, the Eye of Sahara gives the most like reasonable spot that I would think, you know? Not saying that it couldn't be in Antarctica, but it's hard to look at the Eye of Sahara and be like, man, it's hard to look at that and see. But another, um, another thing I was thinking about when it comes to the lost city of Atlantis, what if, what if that's us one day? And they're speaking about the lost continent of America, the lost, the 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 lost states, Georgia. Where what if Georgia's underwater? What if you know what I mean? Like, what if what if we're like that one day, and they're searching for our history? <laughs> you know, what I mean? like when you think of Atlantis, I know everybody is like it's just this myth. But what if that's the case for us one day and they thinking we were a myth? State of Georgia, Florida. Florida may be the first one underwater if, if you ask me, but maybe one day. After all, as years passed by, there's a possibility that the Earth's crust might have shifted, placing Atlantis in its current polar position. Finally, some speculate that Atlantis was not just a city, but an entire continent and that it was the true birthplace of all ancient civilizations. This theory proposes that the survivors of Atlantis spread across the globe, seeding the cultures of Egypt, the Maya, and other ancient societies. 
Despite the numerous theories, the truth about Atlantis remains as elusive as ever. Is it a sunken city waiting to be discovered? A misunderstood metaphor by Plato? Or merely a legend? Well, I'll let you be the judge. Number 14. Where is Amelia Earhart? On July 2, 1937, Amelia Earhart, a pioneering aviator and a symbol of adventure and determination, embarked on a flight that would etch her name into the annals of enduring mysteries. Along with her navigator, Fred Noonan, Earhart set out to circumnavigate the globe, a feat that had captured the world's imagination. However, as they attempted to cross the Pacific Ocean to reach Howland Island, something went drastically wrong. Their plane vanished, and with it, Earhart and Noonan disappeared, never to be seen again. The disappearance of Amelia Earhart has given rise to a myriad of theories, each trying to explain what might have happened on that fateful day. One theory suggests that Earhart and Noonan crash-landed on a remote island in the Pacific, possibly Nicomororo, also known as Gardner Island. Some believe they may have survived the crash, living as castaways before the two eventually perished. This theory is supported by various findings on the island, including human remains and artifacts, though a definitive link to Earhart and Noonan remains elusive. Another widely discussed theory posits that Japanese forces captured Earhart and Noonan amidst the tense geopolitical climate of the era. Some speculate that they were taken as prisoners, believing Earhart to be an American spy and that they ultimately met their end in captivity. This theory has been fueled by anecdotal reports of Earhart's presence in Japanese territories and unverified accounts of her plane being sighted. However, this theory was never verified. A more unconventional and controversial theory proposes that Earhart survived her ordeal, returning to the United States under a new identity. Some proponents of this theory assert that she lived out her remaining years as a New Jersey resident named Irene Bolam. However, this claim has been thoroughly discredited and rejected by most historians and researchers. Despite advancements over the years, the final fate of Amelia Earhart remains elusive. There have been several false discoveries, but nothing has ever been confirmed. Number 13. The Mysterious Shroud of Turin Believed by some to be the burial shroud of Jesus of Nazareth, the Shroud of Turin is among the most mysterious religious objects. For years, it's been under scientific scrutiny. Naturally, the origins of this mysterious cloth remain a topic of intense debate, while radiocarbon dating tests conducted in the 1980s suggested a medieval origin, thus casting doubt on its authenticity. Subsequent studies have challenged these findings arguing that the tested samples were possibly contaminated or not representative of the whole cloth. To this day, there's no solid evidence that the shroud shows the face of Jesus of Nazareth. However, many believe this to be the case. Again, I'll let you be the verdict on this one. Number 12. The Taos Hum The Taos Hum, a low-frequency sound heard in and around the small town of Taos, New Mexico, has perplexed residents and researchers since the early 1990s. The sound is often described as a distant rumbling noise, akin to a diesel engine idling in the distance. It's heard by a relatively small percentage of the population, known as hearers or sensitives. The source of this enigmatic hum remains unexplained, leading to various theories ranging from the mundane to the extraordinary. Some suggest it's caused by unusual acoustics, geological phenomena, or industrial equipment while others speculate more exotic origins, such as secret military projects or extraterrestrial activity. For those who hear this enigmatic sound, it remains one of the world's foremost mysteries, demanding investigation. Just imagine hearing a persistent hum all day, seven days a week. Doesn't it sound quite disturbing? Number 11. The Beale Ciphers If you're into codes and ciphers, perhaps you've already heard about the Beale Ciphers, they're a set of three cryptic texts that supposedly reveal the location of one of the greatest buried treasures in the history of the United States. It's mm. said to have been hidden in the early 19th century by a man named Thomas J. Beale. This incredible treasure allegedly consists of gold, silver, and jewels worth millions today. The ciphers were initially brought to public attention in 1885 through a pamphlet, which claimed that Beale had entrusted a box containing the encrypted messages to a friend before disappearing. Of the three texts, only the second has been deciphered, allegedly pointing to a cache in Bedford County, Virginia. However, the authenticity and accuracy of the ciphers has been the subject of debate, with some considering them an elaborate hoax. However, 
Wouldn't it be amazing if one were to actually stumble upon this hoard? Surely this treasure is enough for a man to live off of it until his deathbed. Number 10. Disappearance of Flight MH370 Now this is among the most recent incidents in this video. On March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight MH370, a Boeing 777 flying from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing with 239 people aboard, mysteriously disappeared, sparking one of the most baffling aviation mysteries in history. The aircraft lost contact with air traffic control less than an hour after takeoff and vanished from radar screens, initiating a mass international search across the Indian Ocean. On March 24, Prime Minister Najib Razak announced the plane's crash in a remote part of the Indian Ocean, making survival highly unlikely. The first pieces of debris were not found until July 2015, approximately 3,700 kilometers or 2,300 miles west of the search zone. Two components, originating from the cabin interior, indicated a potential breakup of the plane. However, it remained uncertain whether the aircraft broke up in the air or upon impacting the ocean. In January 2017, the governments of Malaysia, Australia, and China officially called off their search for Flight 370. To this day, the cause of the flight's sudden disappearance is still unknown. No I don't know, I have my theories. I've done a few videos on this, so, you know, and the pilot to me, with the stuff they found on his computer, you know what I mean, and, and different things that he did leading up to it, it just, it to me, uh, all signs point to the pilot. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, people can't make it look like the pilot did it by putting all this stuff and framing him. I can't say that as well, but... You know, go check out some of the videos on that flight, man. It's still one of the world's like mysterious things that have ever happened. It's one of the greatest mysteries that have ever happened, man. That that flight. Wow. Number nine, the Ark of the Covenant. Central to the ancient Hebrew faith, described in detail in the Bible's book of Exodus, the Ark of the Covenant is said to be a gold covered wooden chest containing the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments. Believed to possess immense power, it was carried ahead of the Israelites during their travels in the desert, and later housed in the Temple of Solomon in Jerusalem. After that, the Ark vanished from written records. Some believe it was hidden to prevent its capture when the Babylonians sacked Jerusalem in 587 BCE. Others propose it was taken to a secret location in Ethiopia, where it remains to this day, guarded by a select few. There are also theories suggesting that the Knights Templar during the Crusades discovered the Ark and moved it to an undisclosed location, possibly in Europe. To this day, the final whereabouts of this religious artifact are yet to be determined. Number 8. The Yonaguni Monument The Yonaguni Monument is a massive structure located off the southern coast of Yonaguni. It was initially discovered in 1986 by a dive tour operator named Kihachiro Aratake. Right after discovering the site, Aratake immediately claimed that it was a man-made structure created by an unknown civilization. This sparked a decades-long debate. Is it? This is what I was thinking about earlier when they were talking about the lost city of Atlantis. Look at how that looks. Doesn't that look like a, a city underwater? Just look at that. that. That's what I be thinking about sometimes when they talk about Atlantis, seeing this right here. Is it a natural formation or a man-made structure? Some experts believe See. the monument is a series of geological formations sculpted naturally by powerful currents and erosions over thousands of years. They point to the sandstones and mudstones, dating back to 20 million years ago, which make up the monument, suggesting a purely natural origin. On the other hand, proponents of the man-made theory argue that certain features of the monument, such as the terraced walls and the flat surfaces, indicate human involvement. However, See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? That's why it gives off those vibes. The lack of definitive evidence, such as tools, pottery, or other artifacts typically associated with human settlements, leaves the debate unresolved. Number 7. Stonehenge Dating back to around 3000 BC, Stonehenge is a collection of towering stones arranged in a circular formation that has long puzzled historians and archaeologists. Theories about its purpose vary widely, ranging from religious rites to astronomical observatories with its alignment with the solstices suggesting ceremonial significance. 
The construction of Stonehenge is as mysterious as its purpose. The monument's larger sarsen stones, some weighing over 25 tons, were transported from a distance of nearly 20 miles, while the smaller blue stones originated over 150 miles away in Wales. The methods used by Neolithic builders for this feat have spurred numerous theories, from log rollers to river rafts. Even with modern technology revealing new insights, Stonehenge still manages much of its enigmatic allure. Number 6. The Antikythera Mechanism The Antikythera Mechanism, an ancient Greek artifact discovered in a shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera in 1901, stands as one of the most astonishing archaeological finds of the 20th century. This intricate device, dating back to around 100 BC, is often hailed as an ancient computer. This artifact is made primarily of bronze. The mechanism is a complex assembly of gears and dials, and its sophistication was something quite unparalleled in its time. Later research revealed that it was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses for calendrical and astrological purposes, as well as to track the four-year cycle of athletic games similar to the Olympics. The sheer brilliance of this mechanism led it to be the subject of many conspiracies. You see, this device features a series of interlocking gears, with a sophistication that suggests an understanding of differential gearing, which is something that we never thought people in the 16th century understood. And despite extensive studies, many aspects of the mechanism, such as who built it and how it was used in day-to-day -day life, remain a mystery. Some scholars suggest it may have had a teaching purpose, while others speculate it was used to support navigation. Number 5. Shugborough Inscription Cryptographers, you might want to try out this cipher, the Shugborough Inscription. Located in the Shepherd's Monument, which was commissioned by Thomas Anson and completed in 1756, the inscription is accompanied by a relief depicting a scene reminiscent of Nicolas Poussin's painting, The Shepherds of Arcadia. But the main feature of this inscription is a puzzling sequence of letters found on an 18th century monument at Shugborough Hall in Staffordshire, England. It consists only of several letters, O, U, O, S, V, A, V, V, as well as the letters D and M. This inscription has baffled scholars, cryptographers, and historians for decades. Numerous theories have been proposed about the meaning and origin of the inscription, but we have yet to crack the cipher. Some suggest it could be a heartfelt memorial by Anson to his deceased wife, while others speculate it may hold the key to finding the Holy Grail, linking it to the Priory of Sion, a secret society. Cryptographers and codebreakers, including those from Bletchley Park during World War II, have tried and failed to decipher the code leading some to conclude it may be nothing more than a meaningless puzzle created by Anson. To this day, the cipher remains unsolved, so who knows? Perhaps you'll be the one who's finally able to crack the code. Number 4. The Dyatlov Pass Incident In February 1959, nine experienced hikers led by Igor Dyatlov embarked on a ski trek across the northern Ural Mountains in the Soviet Union. The expedition unfortunately ended in tragedy, with all members found dead under bizarre, mysterious, and rather chilling circumstances. The group's tent was discovered torn open from the inside, and the hikers' bodies were found scattered across the snow, some barefoot and inadequately dressed for the sub-zero temperatures. Autopsies revealed no signs of struggle, but two of the bodies had significant internal injuries, and one was missing its tongue. The official Soviet investigation concluded that an unknown compelling force had caused the deaths, vague explanation that only fueled further speculation. Numerous theories have been proposed to explain the Dyatlov Pass incident, ranging from natural disasters like avalanches or infrasound-induced panic to more controversial ideas involving military experiments, UFOs, or Yeti-like creatures. The lack of conclusive evidence and the strange details of the case, such as reports of orange spheres in the sky and high radiation levels on some clothing, have kept these theories alive. In recent years, however, modern scientific investigations have yielded that it's likely that a natural occurrence was behind the bizarre incident. Despite this, the strange details of the victims' deaths make the Dyatlov Pass incident the subject of enduring conspiracies to this day. Hmm. Number 3. Dan Cooper If you've seen this suspect sketch, perhaps you already know about D.B. Cooper one of the most popular unidentified individuals involved in the most infamous crime in American history. On November 24, 1971, 
A man using the alias Dan Cooper boarded Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305 in Portland, Oregon, destined for Seattle, Washington. Mid-flight, he revealed a bomb in his briefcase and hijacked the plane, demanding $200,000 in ransom, four parachutes, and a fuel truck standing by in Seattle to refuel the plane for a getaway. Upon landing in Seattle, Cooper's demands were met. He released the 36 passengers unharmed, but kept several crew members and ordered the plane to fly toward Mexico City. Somewhere over the dense forest of the Pacific Northwest, amid a raging storm and under the cover of night, Cooper parachuted out of the plane with the ransom money, disappearing without a trace. Despite an extensive manhunt and a prolonged FBI investigation that lasted over no. four decades, Cooper's identity and fate remain a mystery. The case has given rise to countless theories, ranging from Cooper dying from the jump to successfully escaping and living under a new identity. In 1980, a young boy found a decaying package of $20 bills totaling $5,800 with serial numbers matching the ransom money on the banks of the Columbia River, fueling further speculation. The FBI officially closed the investigation in 2016, marking the D.B. Cooper hijacking as one of the most significant unsolved mysteries in the history of crime. Man, no I think it is. It ranks up there to me. And I think he, he got away with it. I don't think he died. I think he got away with it. And they just, they could never find him. Ever. Where did y'all first hear about D.B. Cooper? I first heard about that story watching Prison Break. Schofield, Michael Schofield, Lincoln Schofield. I, that's why I first heard about D.B. Cooper. And then it wasn't until I started watching these mysterious videos, world mysteries and stuff like that, unsolved mysteries. And they, I, I caught the first video of it. And then I had to, I was, I was glued at that point after previously hearing about it. And then I just started digging into it, man. And once I, I caught like the full story, because they didn't really touch on it in Prison Break. But when I heard the full story, I was like, yo, I was, yeah. It got me. Number two, the case of the Pollock sisters. In 1957, a tragic car accident in Hexham, England took the lives of two young sisters, Joanna and Jacqueline Pollock. The following year, a remarkable event unfolded in the Pollock family. John and Florence Pollock, still grieving from the loss of their daughters, welcomed twin girls, Jillian and Jennifer. The twins, from an early age, exhibited peculiar similarities to their deceased sisters, sparking a debate that extends into the realm of reincarnation and the paranormal. Now, what's more chilling was the fact that the Pollock sisters had striking resemblances and behaviors with the twins, Joanna and Jacqueline. Not only did they have similar physical marks, like birthmarks that mirrored those of their older sisters, but their actions also raised eyebrows. They recognized toys that had belonged to Joanna and Jacqueline, even though they had never seen them before. More unsettling was their apparent fear of cars, a chilling reminder of the accident that claimed their sisters' lives. Naturally, many believed that the Pollock sisters proved that reincarnation is real. Skeptics, on the other hand, looked for more rational explanations like genetics or influence from the parents. But John Pollock, a firm believer in reincarnation, insisted that he and his wife never influenced the twins with information about their late sisters. The mystery of the Pollock sisters and whether or not their reincarnations remains unresolved. And now, it's time for today's topic. If you look at the Statue of Liberty, it seems almost impossible that it's hiding a secret. After all, it's one of the most iconic statues on the entire planet. Who would even think to hide something sinister in this work of art? However, the conspiracy surrounding this statue make it one of the world's mysteries that elude explanation. For one, it was said that this was initially supposed to be the form of the statue. However, it was made how it is today for one reason, a small secret room hidden in its torch. Initially catering to the most brilliant and renowned people in the world, it's been closed to the public for decades. And so today, many believe that this secret room is being used as a place to observe aliens, send signals to space, or spy on people. Yet, we remain clueless as to whether these speculations hold some truth. Number 1. The Sauter Children On Christmas Eve of 1945, the Sauter family of Fayetteville, West Virginia faced a heart-wrenching tragedy when their home was engulfed in flames. George and Jenny Sauter, along with four of their nine children, escaped the inferno, 
but five of the Sutter children were thought to have perished in the fire. Yet, no remains of the children were found in the fire's ashes, leading to suspicions that the fire was not the end of the story. The Sutter family soon encountered a series of baffling clues that suggested a more sinister plot. The family's phone line was found to have been cut, not destroyed by the fire. A witness reported seeing a man at the scene who might have tampered with the Sutter's trucks, hindering any rescue attempts. Strangely, no human remains or typical evidence left after such a fire were found, which contradicted the idea that the children had been caught in the blaze. Driven by these puzzling details, the Sodders spent the rest of their lives searching for answers. They erected billboards and offered rewards, hoping for any information about their missing children. The case became a subject of national intrigue, yet it remained shrouded in mystery. Theories ranged from a kidnapping orchestrated by someone holding a grudge against George Sodder for his outspoken political views to other more complex scenarios. Well, that last case definitely creeped me out, but perhaps the mystery of D.B. Cooper... It's crazy how your views can affect your family like that, man. I don't think he ever would have did it if he would have known that. ...intrigued me the most.